And we're back. I had dinner, sat down and watched an episode of Sailor Moon. Now I've got a glass of water and a glass of soda and a bag of popcorn in case I want to munch on some more, even though I already had dinner. Uh, and we can go ahead and get started here. See what this has in store for us next. Yeah. Uh oh, Sparrowson. Don't tell me you have something to do with this. No! What are you doing? Yeah. Don't do that. What? <laughs> God. Oh, jeez! Look at that syringe! That's horrifying! kind of cool though with how long his beak is. I like it. He's cute. Character is very cute in this game. Look at his devilish fingers. Ooh. <laughs> Occupational hazard. Hopefully you guys can't hear me drinking my soda. Swallowing. Sorry if you can. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, that can't be good. He threw me in the river! Jeez. You know, this game really jumped straight to the, um, conspiracy case, didn't it? Well, how could they possibly follow this case up next? Uh oh, he's having a he's having a mental breakdown. I made no mistakes. It's your fault, bitch. Besides, did didn't he have his own trial? Well, you know, let's. I would like to address this for a second. When I wrote my article about Justice for All, at the end of Justice for All, there's a case where it... I'm sorry to spoil it if you haven't played it, but it is kind of a ten-year-old game. Anyway, at the end of Justice for All, the uh, there's a case where the guy is guilty of hiring an assassin who killed somebody. So you're actually defending somebody who's guilty. And I, co I complained about this in my article because... Um, and I've kind of alluded to it since, since I've started playing this, that, you know, it's okay to not be comfortable with that, but it's actually irrelevant to the lawyer's job, whether the guy is innocent or not. He has the same job to do either way. And uh, some people respond to the article saying, well, the problem is that you're blaming it on another person. So what I didn't like about it, that, uh, what you're saying is true, but the problem is that, you know, you have to throw someone else under the bus, which would have been Adrian for people who have played that game. You know, the problem is that you have to throw somebody else under the bus in order to get off this guy. And that is not true. Because you can kind of throw the blame on somebody else, and they're going to get their own trial if they get arrested. So, you know, in, in the case of that Ace Attorney case, she would have got her own trial, and there would have been enough um, gaps and doubt and all that stuff to get her off. 
Do you know what I'm saying? So, unless in this game it worked the same way, they just arrested him right there in the courtroom and didn't give him his own trial, that means it was proven at trial. And uh, we didn't do that case. I don't know what happened at that, at that trial. It's not your fault, Falcon. So, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I might put that in a future article because that has been bothering me that people were responding to it in that way. I just want to make it clear that that's not how it works in real life. Uh. Having like a psychological breakdown here for uh, JJ. <gasps> Grandfather Shadow. Ooh, the backstory is thickening. <laughs> oh, he's by the bridge. <laughs> he's all wet again. Jiro Falco. What is that? Not a fisherman. <laughs> Don't call me a fisherman. That's funny. No. That is an upright and uh, respectable suggestion, Coco Rico. Yeah, very good. I can applaud you. He's not a bad guy, he's just a little terse. Haha, <laughs> Romulus, you jerk. Jeez. King of France. Let's see him. What kind of animal is he? He's got to be a lion, right? Oh, that's right. He was the penguin in the in the um the portrait in the museum. Funny. 
Oh, what now? Can't obstruct now. <laughs> he could be mistaken about something. You can testify and not think you're lying and still say something that's not true. Alright. Let's ask about Prince of Spain. Um... <laughs> but his name isn't even Juan! I don't, you know, the game seems to be implying that if I ask too many questions, the jury gets pissed at me. So, but I really am curious about what happens if I pick this. I'm just gonna pick it. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! No. Oh wait, maybe I... Maybe, was there another option? Why? That was what it was. Okay. No. Alright, what else? Wasn't there more? Didn't he say more than this? Is there a second page I could flip to? I guess not. Uh... You pass through... Hold on, do I have a map? Green ink! Oh no! The judge tried to kill me! <laughs> it's gonna be fun presenting that later. Okay, hold on. Uh... Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure which of these is gonna lead to new information, so let's just try this, because that's when, uh, that's when the, uh, murder happened. Uh -huh. It's a valid question. And hipsters. <laughs> I'm not badgering him. Hey, no. Damn it. <sighs> no. All right, let's try this one. Ah, oh, yeah, the other rooms. Alright. Oh, alright. I didn't realize that this was the room that we found the chocolate thing in. If I had known that, I would have picked that first. So that's my fault, or the game's fault for not giving me a map that I can access. Uh, yes. 
What did you see? Roman stuff. Uh, elaborate. There you go. <laughs> uh, the, the thing, pretty sure that was her name. Yeah. Nervous there, Romulus. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Tell them that poor Sparrowson risked his life to get to the truth. Ooh. Yay, there he is! He's back! This, this judge is perhaps a little bit too close to actual modern day judges. Monkshood, that was one of the flowers she had. Witness. <laughs> How'd you get her to come? <laughs> exactly. I was trying to say earlier. Uh-oh, she's gonna lie.
No, I'm not done yet. I got a pen with green ink after someone tried to kill me, and I got a receipt with your name on it, Judge. This is far from over. Oh, I know what it is, though. It's the tickets that her, what has to be her parents have. Two ticket stubs for a train bound to Vienna. Seats are booked for Gautier and Nicole... Uh... Signy. There's no way that's how you say that, but I have no idea what it would be otherwise, so... Sorry. Again. Take a look at these, mademoiselle. Judge Romulus! You're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. To link the judge to the girl. Uh, pretty sure it's the receipt. I don't know what else it would be. trouble now. I think it's the fountain pen.
you couldn't though. Not at this point. Why would anybody listen to your authority after this? No one. What? The king probably? Oh, owned. Well, that sure did happen. <laughs> we don't have a judge. Hooray! Not guilty. I don't know about that. She still took the oath and everything. Sparrowson had a crush. <laughs> exactly. this character. He's like Edgeworth, but like we didn't have to go through the Edgeworth period. He's just already a nice person. You're a good lawyer, sir. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Oh god, please don't confess to us that you actually did it. I think Falcon won't be able to handle another one of those. How much money I got now? Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, back to that. Buddy. I like him, so I'm happy about that. Get to see more of the fox guy. Huh. 
All right, we made it through the second case. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll move on to, uh, I guess, Act 3 next time.